look at that, there's hardly a breath of wind, but that chap's managing to make his boat move along with it. It's hardly rushing, is it? It's actually quite hot. Now I've not been down here that much so far this year uh, and it, it sort of fills me with a bit of sadness because that jetty, that wharf where the kids are playing, Bell Wharf, it's not that long ago that a chap I knew who'd had enough of life got in his, actually it was his mum's car and drove straight off the end of that wharf and drowned himself in the river. Yeah. It, uh, what is it, in the midst of life there is death, or is, no, it's the other way around, isn't it? In the midst of death there's life. So, yeah, I, it sort of took some of the shine off this place, and, you know, I do think about the guy. Um, I, I knew him for about 20 years, and he, you know, he had his problems. Yeah, perhaps we should pray that he's, he's, he's found peace. This is more fun, isn't it? People getting some sailing dinghies out. Yeah, why not? It's an absolutely gorgeous day for it. Oops, boom just fell off. Oh well. Always good to see. That's the old girl, Endeavour. Dunkirk little ship. Now, look at the lines of her, because I think shortly I'm going to show you something that might look a bit similar. Not Renown, not Mary Amelia, whatever her name is, but something, something similar to Renown. When the boats get back from fishing, that's what they use to unload them, because that's the sort of volume of load that they have that they they have diggers to dig the the load out of them. But we keep going because we haven't got where I want to show you yet. Unless of course any of you want to see a 1965 two-door Morris Minor. 